my question is on uh, responding to uh, negative emotions. So after hearing your uh, teachings, I begin enjoying negative emotions. Like um, what I mean is, I know that my guidance system is working. Perfect. So, yes. But sometimes I wonder if I'm responding to it by uh, thinking downstream thoughts or whether I'm numbing the sensations, whether I'm ignoring my guidance um, with the head in the sand. We liked the word that you began with when you said responding to negative emotion. That's really good. Responding. What should my response to negative emotion be? Should I panic? Oh, what must I be attracting the way I feel? What is a response to negative emotion? What is the best possible response to negative emotion? What do you think? I think it's to be happy that the guidance system is working. So awareness, awareness of what? My guidance system is working and what's it telling me? That negative emotion is saying, this thought that's active in me right now doesn't jive is out of alignment, doesn't agree, is nothing like the thought that the inner being within me is thinking about the same thing at the same time. Now, that tells you a lot. First, it tells you the source is aware of you, doesn't it? In other words, you couldn't have negative emotion if there wasn't a disparity, if there wasn't a, a difference in the vibrational focus. You couldn't have negative emotion. So it means what I'm thinking is different than what source thinks. That's a wonderful response to that, but then what's the response to that? If source clearly is feeling differently, thinking differently, vibrating differently than I am, then what would the best possible response be that I could offer? I'm gonna to try to think myself into alignment with source. So do you want to give us an example of a negative thought and we'll show you how we would soften it? For example, uh, thoughts on the economy, say. So I know that I have not changed my perspective. I'm just ignoring it. So I'm worried that it'll just get bigger. <laughs> and what emotion? Does it bring an emotion of fear or uh, concern? Concern, yes. So I'm aware that I have concern. What should be my response? First, my inner being must not be thinking the same way I am. So my inner being isn't concerned. My inner being does not think about the economy in the way. Now, let's start again. We want you to first accept that source is aware of you and that you are an extension of source. So it's not like source is frivolously not concerned. Source is intimately involved in everything that you were involved in. So it's not that source doesn't need to worry about it because it doesn't have anything to do with source. It has everything to do with source. Source just isn't a worrier because source isn't a problem focuser. So you feel negative emotion. You say, what should my response be? First, I'm happy that I felt it because my guidance is working. Next, I'm happy that I'm aware that source is seeing it differently. I'm going to see if I can't see it more like source sees it. And then you try to see it more like source sees it. But don't try so hard that you dig in and try to... It's like the game we play with these uh, money and manifestation affirmation cards. If you're out of the vortex and worried about something, let's say you are in that place of concern about money. And so you say, well, I'll take these wonderful cards and I will affirm. I can see my world through the eyes of source. That's interesting that that is the one that comes up. <laughs> I can see my world through the eyes of source. No, I can't. I can't really because I've got negative emotion. I'm feeling negative emotion. Clearly, I am not seeing my world through the eyes of source. That card shouldn't be in there. <laughs> the law of attraction responds to my vibration. I don't like that one either. Whenever I'm feeling good, I am attracting good. <laughs> Give it a rest. There's not one good card in this whole deck. <laughs> because when you are feeling that way, then making too strong of an effort just sort of makes you dig in. You, you understand what we're getting at. Because these cards, you have, to, you have to understand, 
We wrote these, they're, they're brilliant. <laughs> but we wrote them from inside the vortex. They are very high vibrational frequency. And if you're feeling concerned about money and you are trying to hammer yourself over the head with these very high vibrational cards, they just make you mad. Or they make you more aware that you're not where you want to be than you were before you were reading them. Why would anyone make cards like this? Because you have to understand how to use an affirmation card. You have to understand that you're wanting to do all of your affirming from inside the vortex. But first you got to be in there. And so how do I respond to negative emotion? My guidance system is working. It clearly is telling me that source is looking at it differently. So I'm going to try to de-emphasize or make more general this specific thought that I'm thinking. So the specific thought is something like, the economy is bad and I don't know how that's going to impact me and it seems like it is impacting me in this way and in this way and in this way and, and as I look around I see evidence of bad economy here and bad economy here, specific, specific, specific. So now you try to be more general. I don't have to think about this now. The pendulum always swings. There are always boom times and times of greater uh, trauma. There are people who thrive under all conditions. Um, it always does come back. There is evidence of well-being around. There are some people who thrive in all economic times. I really don't have to think about this right now. Uh, no, I'm doing all right. If I don't think about it right now, then perhaps but, I'm being insensitive to it. But hear what we're saying. You were thinking about it right then when you said, I don't really have to think about it right now. In other words, this is softer. I don't have to get specific about this right now. I'm going to think about it in a general way. I'm going to think about it in a way that gives me ease. I'm going to think about it in a way that allows me to feel more what source feels about it. I'm going to feel generally good, even though source is feeling specifically good. And eventually, I'll be able to feel specifically good, like source is feeling specifically good. But right now, I can't feel specifically good because I just came from feeling specifically bad. But I'm going to feel generally bad. The way it goes is specifically focused, which feels really bad. Less specifically focused, which doesn't feel so bad. Generally focused on what I don't want, which doesn't feel so bad. Then generally focused on what I do want, which feels, that's when you feel your first noticeable relief. Then more specifically focused upon what you do want, which feels like more relief. And more specifically focused upon what you do want, which begins to feel like hope. And then more specifically focused, which begins to feel like belief and knowing until you're feeling passionate like source feels. Source has never felt more passionate about the expansion and the well-being of this planet than Source feels right here, right now. Because there is more in the vortex than has ever been there before. You are your greatest height of expansion. And the potential for satisfying in manifested form that vibrational expansion is greater than it's ever been because there are more people aware of their emotions, more people wanting to tend to their own vibration than has ever been before. You see what we're getting at? These are better times than ever, not worse times than ever. There is no regression. There's no going back. There's only expansion. But there can be someone holding themselves apart from who they are, which feels pretty darn bad. It's like there's a song some time ago, Why Do the Stars Keep on Shining? Don't they know it's the end of the world? It ended when I lost my love. In other words, don't they know? Why are the people happy out there? Don't they feel what I feel? No, no, because what you feel is only about the vibration between you and you. But when there's an economic climate or something going on where a lot of people are feeling some of the same things, then you start sort of vibing off each other. And it's not to your advantage. But at the same time that more people are worried and vibing off each other, there's this really extra robust vortex of creation over here that's vibing too, that's attracting all the cooperative components. And that's why when that pendulum swings, it really swings. Don't you find it interesting how suddenly things got so bad? You were just bipping along, everything seemed pretty good, and suddenly the whole world seemed to economically come to an end. No, it didn't. There were just some people who don't understand anything about vibration that in order to serve their own, what they thought was their higher good, got you all focused negatively in order to make you go along with something that they thought was a good idea for them. You see, 
And we don't give this to you because there's anything terrible about it. Everyone is selfishly oriented. Don't worry about people being selfishly oriented and trying to do what they think is best for them. It's what makes the world go round. You have the ability to personally cope with that. You have the ability to let that happen and let it stir something personally in you, vividly in you. In other words, these people that were at the heart of this economic thing are no different than our friend's lover who just harassed him into greater expansion, except you've been harassed into really great expansion, you see. And when you feel fear or concern, you're not lined up with the expansion that you've been harassed into. That's what your response to negative emotion is. Oh, oh, I must have expanded and I must not be going. <laughs> because if I hadn't expanded, I wouldn't feel this discomfort. If the expansion hadn't happened, the discomfort wouldn't be within me right here and now. So a great response to negative emotion is, ooh, I must have really expanded. There must be something really good that I'm on my way to. Where source is already there. And so the good news is source is calling me. The good news is when I lighten up by being less specifically focused, the vortex can pull me closer and closer and closer. The good news is I'm gonna feel better and better. The good news is relief feels good all along the way. The good news is I can't get it wrong and I never get it done. The good news is expansion is always mine to be had. And before you know it, you'll be in the vortex looking at it as the source within you is saying, I really appreciate these highlighting experiences that have caused us globally to expand, which means our world like it always has been. Friends, your world is getting better and better and better and better and better. You are not regressing. It is not going backwards. You just don't have a long enough memory span. In other words, someone will see something like some racial prejudice that is offered in some way, and Jerry and Esther will catch wind of it or see a little piece of it, and they will recoil because it is so abhorrent to them. And then Jerry will say, but it is so much better because he remembers when it was horrible. He remembers what it was like in the South and the way people were being treated. It is way, 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 way better. So you're expanding into a much better place, in other words. It's always getting better on every subject, every subject, every subject, every subject. Life is getting better. Life on planet Earth is getting better. Economy is better. Physical well-being is better. Economic conditions are better. There's more potential for joyous experience for more people, you see. It's better. It's better and getting better. It's just bogus and flawed to be looking at problems and letting those petty and we would call it all petty. Deadly illnesses, petty. Global economic downturn, petty. And you know what we mean by petty? Not worth giving your attention to it. That's the response to negative emotion. That's the response you want to have to negative emotion. That this thing that I'm feeling negative about does not deserve the attention I'm giving it. I'm giving up life force. I'm giving up connection to source. I'm giving up the ability to breathe and I'm giving up alignment with this robust well-being that's in this vortex all for the sake of some misguided thought right here, right now.